<laughs> hey guys, hope everyone's having a great night. Hello. Oh goodness, oh goodness, don't step in the bowl. <laughs> hey bud, whoa, it's a wiggly. Hey honey. What are you doing guys? Well honey will want the food. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Raleigh and Charlie's puppies here. They are five weeks old and we are working on all sorts of things. They are working on potty training. They're working on the stairs. I'm about to get the Coolaroo out. Hold on one second, let me turn the... Uh... Oh, the heater. Yep. yep. One second. <laughs> when somebody had an accident off the tray. So close, but so far away. <laughs> there we go. Honey's like, I'll eat the puppy's food. <laughs> <laughs> I did that. Then the other thing I'm gonna do tonight is clip some nails, because these guys are due for that also. Ashlyn, that's a great question. Um, so we do not administer the shots for the puppies. Uh, our vet comes to us uh, when they do their um, physicals uh, to make sure that they have a good bill of health, that they um, get their shots at that point as well. What was the question? Uh, she was asking, uh, do you administer shots or do you take them to the vet? Ah. We used to take them to the vet. Oh yeah, um, loading now, everybody up in the car. That's right. Oh my. But now we're fortunate enough that we don't have to worry about those things. <laughs> Look hey. at that one sitting right beside you. Yeah. It's like so perfectly cute. waiting. Hey bud. This is a good boy. So cute. Uh, Ashlyn, what platform do you use to sell your puppies? Uh, we don't use any platforms. Um, puppies! We, have our, we keep our website updated with current puppies. Um, and we just update families uh, as litters come available. Um, so we work from like a master wait list. Mm -hmm. And then we reach out to families when a litter is born that meets their criteria. And then sometimes with life events, things like that, uh, we, uh, we pair them up and let them know. And sometimes our families defer um, to the next litter uh, if it's not the right time. Any other things you can add to that, Erin? Uh, no, um, except for the fact that when you do put a deposit down, you join our Facebook group. Oh, and we true. do have a closed Facebook group that's just for our families. And that's where I put videos and photos uh, up of the puppies. So that way everybody can keep track of like what they're doing, what they're working on. Kind of like an expanded version of the YouTube, but um, not as edited, it's just me. That's right. That's a good way to describe it. <laughs> <laughs> so this right. is Mr. Black from Charlie's Litter. Yeah, he's so that. precious. So his family already has a dog from us. So he's gonna be a little brother. Oh, that's awesome. So Stephanie uh, Hausman's on here. She said, how do we get the link for the closed Facebook group? We put our deposit down today. Oh, I just haven't sent it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie, after the live stream's over, we will certainly send you the invite. Uh, I think you'll enjoy the Facebook group uh, tremendously. You get to meet all of our past families uh, and see everybody's updates when they're uh, in their home. And then you get to uh, see some more content from us. It's a lot of fun. Uh, let's see. Who is being chatty? Hey! So Mary says, do you do ENS at eight weeks or is that too late? I don't think it's really too late to do no. ENS, but we start. You want to give the background behind that? Yeah, so we start our puppies at two days or three days old um, doing ENS. And I wouldn't necessarily call it ENS um, after the the two to four week time period i would just call it handling them like we still touch their face we touch their paws we touch their bellies their tails anything that could be a little bit um 
uh, sensitive, and so we want the puppies to go home with the with the best ability to be handled. Um, so, but I wouldn't necessarily call it ENS. Anything yeah, I else, think babe? Once, yeah, I think once they transition past that two week mark. Uh, ENS really just becomes desensitizing. So we yeah, continue to kind of word. Um, play with their ears, uh, play with their tail, just so that when they go home, as long as the family's... Hey. Shh. Who's that one? This is Mr. Black. They're like, play with me, play with me. And... <laughs> um, so that as long as the families continue that, that when they go to the groomers and they have different kind of situations happen but their reactions are minimal yeah come here buddy oh there we go these white nails are so different there we go. oh black's like honey play with me play with me yeah she really wants her that's cute uh let's see hey, hey bud i'm right here hey <laughs> Good to see you, everybody. I hear some wrestling. Well, hey, so I haven't said it yet, but thanks so much hey. for joining the stream. If you have questions, comment down below. We promise that we'll get to them as we kind of continue with our evening routine. So just comment down below. Hey, hey, Let's hey. see. Next one is... So Norma says, how big will Charlie's litter be? Do you know... Who Charlie will have puppies with next? Charlie will have puppies most likely with the boy that did Raleigh's. So his name is Rusty Red and he's local and we loved how those puppies looked. So we would anticipate Charlie having these similar looks but with even bigger white chest and potentially white and red faces. Um, so that is what, that's who she'll breed with next time. And that will be her last litter. So it'll be, it'll be her retirement litter. Oh, Charlie's such a sweet dog. I know. We love when she I'm gonna comes miss visits her. us. Shirley Jacob says, hey, Erin and JP. Oh, Shirley. how big they are. What's that? I forgot to answer how big they are. They're oh. going to be between 50 and 55 pounds is my guess. And my prediction, not a guess, a prediction. Perfect. Hi. Rick Flair says, waiting on Nipsey and Tilly, F1BB, we are on the deposit list, woo. Yes, That's we have a lot of people waiting for that litter and Tilly, will, Tilly is in heat, so we'll start testing her on Wednesday That's to fun. see when we breed. My guess is late next week or early the following week. Awesome. Since she just started. And then... There you go. Come here. Matthew yes, says, we are so excited to pick up Mr. Gray uh, oh, hold next on. We month. Can find him. We're planning our trip now. Awesome. I'll we find Mr. him. Gray. Yeah, I'll find him. Let's see. Is it Gray with bones? Yes. Yep. Actually, Gray is right in front of me. Oh, hold on. Come here, buddy. Ugh. Can you say hi? I'll try and get close-ups as soon as Aaron does all the nails, and so we'll make like oh, a... Oh yeah, we can do a roll call. There you go, I like that. Thanks, that's what call. I've been calling it. That's fine. Let's see. Um. But Matthew, thanks so much for joining the stream. Uh, do you anticipate any litter litters that are mini in size, and will that will have white in their coats? So occasionally, we do get some white abstracts markings um, Sadie produced that this past time. Um, Oakley had like one or two that had some white on them, but it is not a common theme um, for our minis. But um, we will have more minis ready to go home in the June, July time frame. And we have a new mom that's going to produce puppies, Ava. Um, so we'll have to see if she might have some white markings. Come here, little puppy. Oh, Gray found me too. Oh, really? Is that who you have right now? Uh-huh. All right, we'll get a little close-up of Gray. I'm getting my nails clipped, Mom. Such a cute face. Yeah. It's so sweet. And then I think he's he a little bit of white on him. And he has like a little uh, white, white little.
couple little fluffs on the forehead. Cute. It is cute. There you go. Good job. There's Miss Deal. So Jennifer says, hey, Aaron JP, how many litters can you have in the garage at one time? What is the, <laughs> what is the largest number out there so far that we've ever had? I think for like two days we had five. For two days we had five. Yeah. So normally uh, we just have two or three areas. Right now we just have two litters of puppies. Um, we try and keep this big open area open as much as possible. So there is some overlap at times. Um, On average, I would say there's just two to three. Yeah, agreed. Let's see. Hey, you can hop down, you can do it. So Anna uh, says, how far in advance can we send a deposit? Uh, we are sure we'll want to buy a Doodles of NC puppy. Aww. That's also, that's so kind. But we are planning about eight months to a year. Um, oh, so right now, yeah, I would, yeah. you can definitely put a deposit at any time. Um, we have people put in deposits up to a year in advance. Um, and, and it's just nice because then you have the first, you pretty much are a guaranteed first, um, first pick. Hey. That's exactly right. Come here. Yeah. We had like Sally, uh, in Vancouver or she has, yeah, mainly in Vancouver. Uh, she was on our list for a year and a half and mm -hmm. just waited for the perfect dog. And then once uh, the puppy kind of matched all the criteria that she had, uh, she was first pick. And so it was a really smooth, smooth process for her. So I'd say and if you- We if, don't mind if you defer. Like it's exactly not something right. that like, I know some other breeders will say like, okay, you can defer twice, but we don't have that. We can, you can defer as many times as you need to because we want everybody to get the perfect puppy for them. That's right. Woo. But along the way, if you have questions before putting down a deposit, you're welcome to reach out to us and we can help answer questions, kind of talk about upcoming litters that we are in the planning Great. process for. And so hopefully that will help you out. But that's so kind of you to say. I know, I would love to work with you. I look forward to working with you. With you. Uh, Janice, are you, going to make more party pups it is unlikely yeah <laughs> um dolce is such a great stud but he was about three hours away and as much as i love these fun white colors i like the consistency of the red and apricots um so it's it's unlikely that's a fair statement yeah I think they're beautiful and I love and I love them, but I don't want people to depend on me for them because technically Charlie could have another litter. People expect these and I could get um, all brown and white ones, like That's not have right. any of the party. That's exactly right. I got one of their nails a little short. So I'm Let's rehabbing. See. Oh, Sierra, thanks so much for joining. Let's see. Oh, Anna says, hoping my husband puts a deposit in for Valentine's Day. But ah! <laughs> well, if he's on here, that's a, that's a great idea. I'll that's do great. a personalized video. Tell him, tell him just to tell me who, who to send it to. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, that's something new that's uh, started to kind of pick up for us a little bit is uh, Aaron's been doing like personalized one-on-one -on -one announcements for the surprises for families. And that's been really neat to see some of the reactions. The best was the teenager. Yes. She, it was, it was probably one of the best reactions I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, it says Sierra was hidden by doodles of NC. I don't know what that means. So Sierra, if you're putting in a, a comment, come I'm here. not quite sure why it's getting hidden. Oh goodness, come um, back here. Let's see. Let's try that again. There you go. So Ashlyn, so great question. She says, how yes. many times do you breed each female? So up to four times is, uh, is what our agreement is, but we do on a litter by litter basis. So we want to make sure mom is well cared for first. There you go. Uh, and as long as mom is doing well, she's caring for her puppies and the vet uh, <gasps> is happy with how they responded and things are going well, then we'll breed up to four times. Let's see. Yes, good job. 
Oh, Matthew said that reaction was us. Let's ah! see. And we cut out about a full three minutes of it. That was so, hey, that made our night. Uh, we shared it with oh, the girls. So uh, our kids got a real um, big smile out of it. It was a lot of fun. Honey. Honey. Whoosh. Oh, good job on that Kolaroo. Come on. You can do it. So as you guys see, the first couple minutes of, I would say good first 15, 20 minutes uh, is just burning all the fun energy. And then as they start to wind down a little bit, uh, we start doing our stair training. That's what Aaron's working on now. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. How has the stairs been going? Um, they've been going good. You can see some of them just kind of like flop down. And right. so then I got to like save them, like save their life. Um, <laughs> and then some of them have done really well. Yes, good job. It's amazing to see how, because of how much bigger they are, how easy it is in comparison to the minis. Yes, but that's why I was saying how confident they are. Sometimes they just flop over because they're like, oh, I can do this, right? but they don't actually know how to do it. Come on. Come on. This is the Mosley's dog. Oh, wonderful. So this is, this puppy, I'll save him for a second. He's gonna go live with his mom, Charlie. Yeah, so uh, the family that has Charlie uh, really wanted a second dog. They had, unfortunately, their older Golden Doodle uh, passed away, Mulligan, uh, really unexpected. Willow. I'm sorry, Willow. Mulligan's our other Mulligan family friend. Mulligan is yeah. Sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Willow passed away suddenly. Yeah, uh, unexpectedly. Yeah. And so, so gonna... they really wanted to make sure Charlie had a companion. And so they, uh, do we have a name yet? No, I don't. Oh, maybe. Okay. Hold on. I can look. I feel like she did tell me a name. I'm reading through the comments. Holly, thanks so much for joining. So glad you were able to make it. Oscar. Oscar? Okay. Yes. Are you an Oscar? <laughs> Come on. Okay, you went all the way up the steps. Now, are you going to be able to get down? <laughs> did you see that? I did. Yeah. Yeah, That's that, what they do. That was a great example. They just kind of like, Mew. <laughs> there you go. Yes, good girl. And then Antania, uh, I'm not sure about your question. It says, do any of your dogs on each other? So you have to, if maybe you can just... Do we um, what? What's that? Do we what? Well, I didn't quite understand the question. Okay. Um, so if you could repeat that question, that'd be really helpful. Um, oh. Free Indeed Shepherds, do you have someone you trust to take over when you guys go out of town? Let's we do. Let's see, <laughs> for a night or a vacation, or do you guys uh, just stay back to here? So we do. We have... We have three people that we've been working with the last couple years that we just have a lot of trust and faith in if we do leave. And then we have Excel spreadsheets uh, of checklist items that they just complete each day and then they send to us uh, just to make sure everything is going really smoothly if we do. But it's uh, for us to leave, it takes a lot of planning. Oh, yeah. Uh, just to make sure everything hey, is hey, going hey, really hey. smooth. No, that's not kind. Good job. Uh, Sarah, what kind of dog food? We use Fromm, F-R-O-M-M. It's a small batch, but um, reasonably affordable for a small batch dog food that we've really enjoyed. One of the biggest things that we like about Fromm is that you can change up the food without it disrupting you know, their stomach. Um, and so we found with golden doodles, sometimes they can be a little bit of a picky eater. And so if you just constantly swap up the flavor within the from line, uh, they tend to stay really interested in the food. Will you, uh, will you help our little friend over here from, oh. Oh, you know what? I should go get that bitter apple spray. Oh, we can see if it idea. works. I'll be right back. Let me go grab it. Thanks bud. All right, 
let's see. Trying out a new product. So Anna says, it's been about eight years since we've had a puppy. What are some hazards to keep an eye out for with a new puppy? Um, Anna, I think the biggest thing is, is chewing. Uh, we've seen it still in honey. Uh, <laughs> and so we just have to just constantly have uh, chew toys around. And then also just make sure that she's in an area where she's gonna be successful. That's the best thing. Um, what are some yeah, other things yeah. that you recommend, Aaron? Um, for hazards. Hazards? Um, I would say any kind of teething toys that can break apart. Like the Ooh, puppies loved those plastic teething rings and they were fine for them. But Honey ended up kind of chewing on them and then we realized that she was um, able to break them. So I took them away. Um, I'll probably order a few more, but just and only set them out when she's not out here. Um, but I just find that um, any kind of plastic toys or like a pig's ear or even a yak cheese can still be a choking hazard if you, um, you, you just have to watch them still. It's almost like having a baby. You just have to keep your, keep your eye on them. Yeah, I agree. That's a good, good descriptive word. Yeah, it's almost like a baby or a toddler. Um, good job. As far as the hazards. Uh, you know, any kind of chemicals, things like that, you know, if you're not ha used to having a small child or a dog or something like that, they could get into something like that. Mm -hmm. um, not that they would open up a, a cabinet door, but just making sure that it might just not be something that they can have access to. They're very curious animals. And so they do things, you know, without any kind of harmful intent, but their curiosity sometimes can get the best of yeah. them. Uh, look at Mr. See. Red chewing on the ball. Where? See? Oh, <laughs> guys, look how cute that is. <laughs> but that is the first puppy that's been able to pick that up and put it in its mouth. Yes. What do you hear? You hear your brother? Super, super cute. <laughs> All right. Puppies! Puppies! So what Rico Ramos says, hi, Aaron and JP. I am also for sure getting one from you. That's awesome. That's really sweet of you to say. Um, just wanted to say it is so evident how much you care for your puppies Aww. and the buyers. Oh, that's sweet that's of you sweet. to say. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, oh, Snooky, that's such a good comment. They said watch out for power cords. That's oh, yeah. Very true. That is a really good yeah. one. Yeah. Thank you for commenting about that. Well, hi. I see you. I see you. I see <laughs> That's Miss Pink. Hi, bud. Miss Pink just needs some love. <laughs> oh my goodness. Miss Teal. <laughs> Miss Teal, come here. <laughs> Everybody's just so vocal tonight. It's oh really yeah. Cute. They've been so advanced. This group has been amazing. In what ways have you seen that? So a lot of times it takes um, a couple of oh, days. You had a what? friend up. You had a friend up there for just was a it second. honey? It was honey. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like a muppet when she does it. She, she like really flops her does. ears over. She's like hi. She just like <laughs> flopped her. <laughs> That's a really good example. There it is. <laughs> Do you want to come back in? Come in. Plus we'll make sure you don't teeth on anything else. Um. So the ways that I've seen them be more advanced is like usually it takes the mini doodles and the, even the small mediums a couple of days to get acclimated to start running around um, in the garage nursery. And these guys from day one started exploring very quickly. And then they also just progressed much quicker with food. They're already on hard kibble. Like, so traditionally yeah. they would be on soft kibble by now, but like puffy kibble. Right. But they pretty much went from porridge to hard kibble. Um, it seemed to satisfy them more. They were just hungry. Yeah. So I kind of, I just put some porridge and then I put some hard kibble on top of it just to test it out, yeah. watched them eat it. And, and then we just went to hard kibble after that because they were so happy with it. That's awesome. I'm also having to feed them more often <laughs> than, than the mini doodles. The mini doodles I could feed just twice a day and they still had food left over. Right. These guys need at least three feedings a day. Wow, that's incredible. I guess I could put two bowls in there. Right. And maybe it would la we'd have some leftover. Okay. But I just haven't done that yet. 
but I, that's probably a good idea now that I'm saying it out loud. But I'm just really, really proud of them. Potty right. training is still the same though. They still are working on, um, they're down to three trays, but they still are having some accidents off of the, tr the third tray. Okay. All right. Good job. Well, hey, for anybody that just joined, be sure to comment. We're just hanging out with our puppies and doing their training tonight. Um, but thank you guys so much for joining. Be sure to comment down below with any kind of questions that you have. We love mm -hmm. just answering them as we continue on with our evening routine. Are you liking the rope toy? So Nancy says, I see that Ava and Nipsey are going to have puppies that are going to be 10 to 20 pounds. That sounds like a wonderful size mini. Will they be curly or wavy? I have been on your wait list for a small mini and I was curious. So they have potential to be either because Ava is super curly and so is Nipsey. But some of my curliest doodles like Rue and Oakley created wavy coated puppies. So it um, can be either way. They can get one curl gene or two curl genes even if they have both parents are curly. So we will we'll just have to wait and see what they turn out to be when they're born. And every litter can be different. So just because, yeah. just because Oakley had wavy coats and uh, like two curly coats this past time does not mean that she wouldn't have all curly coats next time. That's awesome. And Nancy, thanks so much for being on the live yeah. stream tonight. That's great. Um, Hannah here, love y'all's puppies. Hope to possibly get one for you someday when I'm prepared. Hannah, thanks so much for being on here. Um, I agree, AAK. Um, the, the party puppies are, are really cute. <laughs> it's something new for us uh, that uh, we did with Charlie's litter, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. Let's see. What are you doing under there? They found the underneath the cabinet, babe. <laughs> so Norma says, do you have an estimate for when Ruby and Mosley's litter goes home? Which Ruby? Apricot Ruby or Red Ruby? Okay, Norma, if you can comment down below, we can give you an answer. And then... I think I must have missed a question here. I'll scroll back up to the top. Oh, I did. I missed like a whole group of them. Are the parents pure golden retriever and poodle? Um, it's from no. Boy George. You can take that one if you want. Um, no, these guys are F1Bs. And so an F1B is where we take an F1, which is a 50, 50, or 50, sorry. An F1 is 50% golden retriever, 50% poodle. And then we take an F1 and breed it back with a poodle to be an F1B. Uh, we found that that's, uh, other than being F1BBs, it's the best hyperallergenic, mm -hmm. low shedding to non shedding coats uh, that we can create. And it gives that really nice teddy bear look that you guys see in these puppies. Yeah. Um, okay, I see your comment now. Uh, Antonia, I hope that I'm saying that right. Uh, do any of your dogs pee on each other? Um, no, I would say uh, early on the puppies, um, but it's because they haven't quite like early, early on um, and it's because they quite haven't gotten their legs underneath them yet. Right. Um, They're like but once crawling. they do, they really like to be clean. So you'll see when they wake up from their naps, do they kind of wander over and then they find an area outside of their den uh, to go to the bathroom. Uh, and then we continue to build on that behavior. And so we use a potty tray system in their area to continue to um, encourage them to pee away from their space. And then we keep those areas clean and then as they get better and better, we move all the way down to one tray. And so you can see um, in our play area that this is their little potty station. And they do a really good job. We're still working with them on the pee, but for um, poop, it's going really well. And these guys are only six weeks old. But hopefully that answers your question. Um, let's see. John, I'm going to grab some zip ties real quick. I want to recreate the, um, the jingly thing. Okay. I think they would like it. I'll be right back. Uh, so Hannah, great question. Have you ever had someone train one of your puppies to be a service dog? They seem to be great temperaments. Uh, we agree. They have, we've had a couple of ours be candidates for service dogs. Um, but when Erin gets back, she'll be able to give an update as far as if they made it all the way through the program successfully. 
um, but we've had a numerous um, some to be emotionally support, um, but as far as actually a working service dog, I'll have to ask Aaron that one. Um, but we've had a few people also come in with the trainer for the selection process, which is a really neat experience to look at different temperaments and things like that. Have we had anybody successfully be, that we know of, to be a, a service, service dog? I never got confirmation, but I know two have have um, been candidates. Have been candidates, and they went to training for it. Okay. I just the family didn't keep up with me. I so. see. Okay. Um, KS, do you have puppies go overseas, or are they local to families? Um, so majority of our families stay within the United States. Um, we have had now three puppies go to Canada, which is really easy. Um, but as far as overseas. Um, we've only had one go to Hong Kong, um, and, and they it's not stayed, there yet. And there's, yeah, they're not there yet, uh, but they're in Canada now until they get their rabies vaccine at three months, right, Aaron? Uh -huh. And then they go uh, four, four months. Four months, okay. Um, and then they're able to go. We just have one rule, and we just don't allow our puppies to fly as cargo, um, except in, in even within the United States. And so, as long as they have made accommodations to fly with their puppy uh, in the cabin, then we, uh, we work really closely with the family to make sure that that's a success. Whether that's something that I do for the family or they come and, um, and put a plan together uh, to fly with their puppy. So hopefully that answers your question. It's, um, it's really <laughs> neat to see the reach that, um, that some of our puppies have been able to go and experience. It's, it's a lot of fun. Oh, we got someone wanting to try and go potty right now. Wait, 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 wait. You can do it. There you go. <laughs> Let's see. Sorry, guys. If you guys see me kind of pause as I'm like trying to scroll back up through the comments so I don't, I don't miss anybody. So Norma says red ruby in the beginning, middle, or end of June. Um, it will be the middle of June. Middle of June. So she bred today with Mosley, and they had a very successful date. So I can look at my calendar in just a second and give her a due date. Very good, Norma. Like that is within the last hour. That's right. So let's. See. Uh, Glenda, I love seeing all seeing you. I'll nurture and train the puppies. What would you suggest as far as potty training when it comes to male versus female? Are females easier? I don't think so. I've had families um, be successful with both uh, sexes, both genders. Um, I think a lot of people think, assume that boys are gonna mark um, and they traditionally don't do that if they are neutered and if other dogs aren't in the house. But um, the most important thing is that they're neutered. Um, so I, I would say that both are very easy to train. Yeah, just consistency yeah. is the biggest thing. Having a schedule is really important when it comes to um, potty training. Yeah, we found that controlled water and controlled food, especially when that, they're a puppy, yeah. is, makes for Hi. a lot of success. Just because when they're puppies, they're just, they don't have a really long, like they don't have a, Trying to think of a way to describe it. They just their ability to hold. Yeah, they don't have a big uh, bladder. Yeah, there you go. Um, and so that takes time. And so we just recommend right when they go home at eight weeks that you introduce water multiple times throughout the day and then set a timer 20, 30 minutes and then just take them right out. And we found that that just allows for families to be so successful right out of the gate of continuing their potty training. Um, and then you just saw me, like, there was one that was just kind of like walking around over here and they start kind of sniffing and they know, it, you know that they were wanting to try to find a spot to go to potty. Um, let's see. So Carmen says, now that you've, let's see, now you're talking about feeding. I feed Betty a third of a cup of food twice a day, like you had suggested, but she eats like, eats that like in a minute. Should I be feeding her more? I don't want her to gain weight, um, but she looks... Um, is she still digging at the bowl, Carmen? Because if she is, then she's probably still hungry. 
Um, but you could also do a slow feeder, like get a puzzle. Um, somebody just posted on our Doodles of NC Facebook group that they got their doodle a slow feeder, and it helped a lot. Oh, that's a great suggestion. So they're, it's like a maze, and they have to go through and get the different pieces of kibble. Uh, Antonia says, what should I do to stop them? Um, I don't know. To I would maybe what? reach out to, I, it appears that maybe they're having some issues with other dogs kind of um, going to the bathroom on each other. Oh. I would maybe reach out to a, um, a trainer. Yeah. It seems like that might be a behavioral thing. Um, Good job. Let's see, Patriot Pride, do you foresee any cream or light apricot pups coming up anytime soon? Um, yeah, I do. So um, Ava and Mose, I mean, Ava and Nipsey could have some lighter um, apricot colored ones because Ava is apricot colored. And then um, Tilly and Nipsey also have the potential of having some light colored ones um, because Tilly is an apricot. So we'll just have to see who's, who's coloring they take after, Nipsey or Tilly or Ava. But the nice thing is, is that if for some reason those pairings didn't produce what you wanted, you would just stay on our list and then be first up to choose from the pairing that you do want, like from the next ones that come. Yeah. And then someone commented just a moment ago and said, hey, is this one litter or two? This is this two is litters. This is two. Yep. And Honey is not the parents of either litter. What are you doing? Honey is, uh, is our matriarchal, not really matriarch, no. but a, a stand-in mom. She's for auntie. The puppies. There you go, auntie, I like that. Auntie That's Honey. Uh, so she continues to play with them, nurture she, them. She's actually Charlie's half-sister. She, I mean, she's their half-sister because Charlie is her that mom. That is right. You ready? Oh, that is so cute. I'm wrestle with her. <laughs> what are you two doing? No growling. Jennifer, thanks so much Get for being on here. Yeah, I agree. Jennifer Bacchus is on. Uh, oh, fun. Hi. Yeah. She said a slow feeder is life changing. Oh, goodness, Oscar. Come here. Let's put you up here and do something to work. Um, so, Heather says, will you have any uh, F1Bs that will be honey size and color in the future? Yes. The next ones that will be honey sized are. Good job. Um, will be a breeding of Piper and that rusty red, the stud that I was talking about. And that will happen later in the summer, early fall is what we anticipate. Perfect. And then you already have potential people waiting for that litter as well, right? I now. have one. You have one so far? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Norma, you're right. Every once in a while, we'll see one of the puppies attempt to try and nurse on honey. Uh, of course, unsuccessfully. Um, Carmen says, yeah, she licks her bowl and keeps looking at me, and I don't know what to do with her. <laughs> I would just give her a little more, Carmen. Yeah. Erin, <laughs> look, there's one carrying the uh, little rope toy. Aww. That's cute. That's Mr. Socks. Well, that's what the girls call them. <laughs> All right, a couple questions about Honey. Um, how old is she? Nine months. Okay. And any idea of what Honey weighs right now? 50 pounds. Okay. Is that when you, you, you picked her up and sit on the scale? Yeah. <laughs> that's such a, an easy uh, little quick hack. You weigh yourself, and then and you, you pick up your dog, dog. <laughs> yeah, and then you stay on the scale again. <laughs> Uh, let's see. And so, yeah, so honey is definitely, she would be considered um, a standard, right? Nope, not yet. Okay. 60 well, pounds and up is considered a standard. Got it. So she's just a large She's medium. a really large medium. Got it. Let's see. I don't know if she'll get to 60 pounds. Her dad is not 60 pounds and her mom is not 60 pounds. Yeah. So, but technically she could get some grandparent genes that make her 60. Like her great grandmother, Bella, right? Yeah, Holly, great question. So she says, can't remember if Honey gonna be a possible mom. Um, so we decided not to breed Honey. Um, we were originally planning to do that, yeah. but because she's already gravitated and fell in love with the puppies already, 
uh, and she just loves being out here. We didn't want to potentially disrupt that with her having her own litter to care for um, because Bella, who you guys have seen in, in past videos, um, she's 13 now. 12. Gosh, I keep aging her too you fast. Do. <laughs> Sorry. I know Bella won't watch this, but I apologize for <laughs> aging her too fast. Um, but with Bella slowing down, uh, uh -huh. she just, Sit. she likes more of the quieter uh, side of Down. life now. Um, and so Honey has just loved the no. puppies. And if she had her own no. puppies, we were nervous that Good she girl. might not want to play with the puppies as well. And Plus, so, if she had her own puppies and she was nursing them, she wouldn't want to come out here because then they would want to nurse on her. So it would interrupt true. and the puppies out here wouldn't get a socialization and that's not fair to them. Yeah. And so um, she will be spayed. Uh, this and month? So, yep. And so we're excited that she loves playing with the puppies and that she'll get that experience through these guys. Look, they are liking the toy again. <laughs> they really are. All right, so someone says, in my research about grooming, I've heard that some groomers pull the hair out of their ears. Ear and it plucking. makes me cry thinking about that. What are your thoughts about this? Our groomer has never done it. She trims their hair, but a lot of people think that increased hair in their ears causes ear infections. And we have just found other ways of working on ear infections instead of ear plucking. And that yeah. could be just getting a better diet, like a different type of food. They could be allergic to something. Sometimes the chicken used in dog foods isn't fantastic. So finding a good, a good food that has good quality chicken um, can make a difference with people. Bella used to get ear infections all the time, and we switched her to whitefish or salmon, and magically the ear infections went away. So, I can't. Oh, honey. What is it? We got a small little tennis ball. Oh, she's fine with them. She, she doesn't swallow them. She, what? She doesn't, she won't swallow it. Oh, good, okay. Yep, she just picks them up and brings them back. Got it. The puppies like them. Yes. Let's see. Does that answer that question? Yeah, that was great. Okay. Yeah, I can't, I, but I can't imagine either. Having that would that. hurt. They say it doesn't hurt them, but I, I mean, I can't imagine. Yeah. But they say they don't have, they say they don't have pain receptors in their ear. Oh, really? That deep. Oh, that's, interesting. That's what they say. Oh, okay. Let's Look. see. Even the puppies like the yak cheese, babe. Oh, that's cute. And my bitter apple spray seems to be working because nobody has gone back over to the steps. Oh, good. But I'll have to give everybody an update on how frequently I need to apply it. Yeah. And then you can repaint our stair column. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Patriot Pride, what food do you recommend most for your mini gold noodles? Um, from is our, our best food. So it's F-R-O-M-M. Uh, we've really enjoyed it for our minis. Uh, I think I said in, our, in the earlier clip that um, they really, um, we found golden doodles are a little picky when it comes to flavor. Um, but then we, um, the, what's nice about Fromm is that you're able to switch the food flavor without it upsetting it. their, what's that? You can interchange it. Yeah, without it upsetting their stomach. Um, Jeanette says, hey guys, we're watching your videos, no, puppies. No, 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 no. Uh, let's see, you're so cute. I was wanting to know, soon after the dog is pregnant, do you guys collect the deposit or add people to the wait list? Um, so we operate from like a master list, um, Jeanette. And so um, how that works is when you guys feel like you're, when someone's ready to uh, get a puppy, they go ahead and add themselves to the master list. And based on their criteria that they're looking for, whether it's size, color, a certain temperament, they kind of, we create little profiles for the families and then we reach out to them once a litter is born. And then based on the order of deposit is their picking order. And so if someone um, finds their puppy within their first uh, round of puppy picking, wonderful. We've, we've been surprised that someone either, even though they might no. be on sixth order Sit. of picking, they, uh, they get their perfect pet. Yeah. But if they don't, then they can defer unlimited amount of times or if a puppy in that litter isn't quite what you're looking for, you can defer 
again as well until you find the right the puppy. But we have some families that say, hey, if I put my, order, my deposit in six months, a year, um, plus, can I have first pick on a certain litter? And Erin tries her best to make that yeah. accommodation. Yes, uh, finally, good see. job. Uh, Heather says, do you do payment plans? Um, we've done that like in-house on our own, like in advance. Yeah. Like um, we've had a couple families say, hey, can I go ahead and start making my payments towards the puppy um, before go home? And we totally uh, take on that. Um, and so there's no like interest and in all that kind of stuff, but we don't have any way um, as of right now uh, for payment plans to be made after the puppy goes home. Um, but hopefully that answers your question on that one. Uh, Mary says we use bitter apples for our golden noodle and he loves it. He thought it was a treat. <laughs> <gasps> Mary, that's not what we wanted Aww. to hear. That's so funny. Oh. Poor Mary. <laughs> I know, I really hey, hate no. everyone. Uh -uh. Sit. That, I can't imagine if they just Down. He sprayed it and then they just started licking it. Oh, like, geez. thank you so much for this treat. Oh my goodness, that's funny. Well, hey, buddy. I'll, I'll pet you, I promise. Oh, everybody wants a little bit of love. Whoosh. <laughs> You can totally tell they're starting to like oh, yeah. wind down a little bit. I mean, this is so cute. Yeah. Beep. Yes. So hiding spots. So Sydney oh, just you said come. puppies like to hide underneath the sink. Yes. Yeah, so this is a great hiding spot. Actually behind the washer is a hiding spot. Mm -hmm. And then underneath the, uh, the cabinet there area. There are some under there. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. You can see. There, well, now that I've talked about it, but there's one. Let's see if I can zoom. This one came out. You can see that there's like one. Oh, honey, you're blocking the camera. Honey, come here. Let's see, honey. There we go. You can see one is sitting right there. It's Whoosh. cute. <laughs> honey loves the big Yep, octopus. Sydney, you're exactly right, yep. Or counting to the right of the steps. It's really, it's really cute. Oh, he's sleeping, sleeping. And then they get their second wind and they come out to, to play some more. <laughs> These guys have loved to wrestle each other. They really do. Uh, just scrolling back up, just making sure I didn't miss anybody's comments. Um, Joseph, thanks so much for joining uh, from Houston, Texas. That's awesome. Wow. My black toy poodle uh, coat eats most of his food out of the bobble toy. Oh, um, like a Kong. Yeah, that's great. That's a great busy toy. I knew somebody would go after those zip ties soon enough. Are they just chewing the zip tie? They're trying to. Oh. I think they're pretty strong though. So I might have to get thicker zip ties. So someone said, would you ever consider having a litter that would produce black puppies? That's actually funny that you say that. So that was our, our first very first litter uh, that we had, so I guess Can going on 11 years ago mm -hmm. with Bella, was cream and black puppies. Five cream, five black. They were absolutely beautiful puppies. Um, but we never really found a great niche um, in that. We stuck more with um, traditional golden retriever, browns, mm -hmm. apricots, reds. Um, not, I shouldn't say browns, more reds, apricots, and creams. And that was kind of just the, the niche that we just stuck with um, and that what people just became more uh, familiar with us when they were looking for a puppy that we haven't really gotten into uh, any kind of variation uh, of that with incorporating more colors from the poodle line. That's a great question. I'll never forget like that, that time, like they just they, after one and another, like Bella is just like this like apricot color right. and all of them were like cream white like this without any of the color markings, yeah. just cream and then just black. Yep. Is they're really cute. <laughs> no, you be 
attention. Great job. <laughs> One of them was literally like chewing on the other one's leg, like trying to just get it to wrestle. Like, play with me. <laughs> and for you guys, if there's any comments that I haven't answered, just copy and paste them down below. I'm, I'm sorry if I skipped over your question. Um, but thank you guys so much for being on the live stream tonight. There's a lot of action going on underneath the... Underneath the cabinet? Yes. All right, let's go explore. Um, let's see. Heather says, let's see. I love the one with the heart on its head. So cute. I agree. <coughs> Does it take off the whiskers to have the face shaven like honey's? I don't know if they can feel them. No. So it's interesting that you're um, commenting about honey. So the whiskers, honey. honey hey, honey, come here. come here. Come here. Come here. Good girl. Um, you're right. So her, her whiskers do get um, cut, cut a little mm -hmm. bit when she gets groomed in the face. Um, we're actually thinking about keeping her face a little longer uh, no with her grooming once a month. So you guys will have to let us know as you guys keep watching our content, what do you guys think about her having like a little bit of a longer uh, face? What do you think, honey? <laughs> honey? <laughs> She's like, I'm just so occupied. Come here, buddy. Honey. Honey bun. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, <gasps> no, buddy. Oh, honey. The excitatory. <laughs> honey. Come Don't here. Don't talk to her in a high pitched voice. Just say, honey, come. <gasps> honey, come. Honey, go see dad. Honey, come. Buddy. <laughs> like, you have this big camera. I'm, I don't wonder if they want to come over to you. Honey. Honey, come right here. Come here. So William had a good Sit. question. It says, so none of the good pups girl. have chosen names yet? Um, or do you purple. have some that have names? Yep. Purple is Lily. And blue is Oscar. And then I'll have to cheat and look back and see if anybody else has a name. Oh, I don't have I don't have any other names written down. So those so you are the just only have ones Oscar I got. Oscar and who else? Lily. Purple is Lily. Oh fun. Oh yeah, we're gonna go underneath the cabinet. I don't know if anybody's still there. There's a couple. They just love to wrestle underneath here. They already broke a zip tie, babe. No way. So I gotta get bigger zip ties. That's fun. <laughs> oh, they broke the top of it. Whoops, sorry guys. So William, we do puppy picking. So it says none of the pups are chosen yet, so no names. So William, so all the puppies out here have been chosen. Um, so we do puppy picking at between four and five weeks. Uh, and so all these guys have families, just haven't picked names out yet. And hey, if anybody is on the stream and has names, yeah. comment down below, we'd love to hear them. Uh, let's see. Jeanette says, any advice on handling very first time litter while working full time? Oh, we've I've, done that. We have. Yeah. So what um, would you say? Just staying organized is the biggest thing and just staying on top of like changing your mats and uh, making sure the mom is taken care of. I think one of your biggest, not concerns, but the biggest challenge would be taking care of the mom in the first couple of weeks. Uh, because they're just eating and drinking so much food and water that they're probably going to need to go out to the bathroom often. I would say 
the moms in the beginning want to go out, what, like every two hours? Almost kind of like you're doing a puppy again. Uh, um, okay. So having either hiring somebody or being able to run home and let them out, I think would be great. Yes. And then the second thing is just making sure then when you're before work and after work that you're able to spend quality time with the puppies and, and the mom to take care of her and make sure that she um, is feeling the love and, and appreciation that you have for her, because I know you do. Yeah. All right, for the last five minutes, for all of our oh. puppy families, this comment, is Lily. comment down below if you guys are on the stream and what color collar. We'll do like an up close Hello. little hellos for everybody. Hey, buddy. Now you're gonna go say hey. <laughs> all right. So Brielle says oh. orange is yes. Scooby Doo from Raleigh. So let's Hold see if on. we can find He's, orange. That's him right there. Yep. <laughs> nice job. Say hey, mom. Scooby Doo. Oh, that's right. So cute. I forgot that was his name. I gotta write that down. Love it. So sweet. He is very sweet. Let me write that down before I forget. Okay. And Eileen says, have you ever had a litter keep you up at night due to them making noise or do they all sleep through all the night? Yeah, I would say Eileen, as long as we have like a long play session before bedtime like this, like a full hour, you can already see like they're already starting to get tuckered out. It's so cute. Look. Um, and they will sleep all night. You might hear a couple little peeps. You'll hear them in the morning. Uh, yeah, I would say that usually wake up time is usually, oh, sorry, uh, is between like 6.30 and 7. Yeah. Which Let's works see. out, because that's when we should be getting up anyway. All right, let's see. Oh, Holly, good observation. She said, I saw Honey playing with the zip tie, so she could have bitten it. Oh. I'm so glad you guys can help us be I able know, to right? solve these mysteries. Good detective. We would have totally been like, all right, zip ties are totally not going to work. But now we're like, oh, maybe Honey did chew it. Let's see. That'd be pretty easy um, for her to chew. Yeah. I'm trying to decide between one of your mini F2B doodles and miniature poodle, would you happen to know of any personality difference between the two? I love all your videos, by the way. That's from Caitlin. Caitlin, do you mean an F1BB? Because we don't make many F2Bs. Good question. So if, you, if it is an F1BB mini, mm -hmm. what would you say, are there any kind of differences that you would see? I haven't been around enough poodles to really have a consistent basis for their personalities but nipsey is a great poodle and he is super sweet um so based on that i think that either option would be wonderful um i know that the golden adding the golden retriever in does give it some playfulness that maybe poodles don't necessarily have um both are super intelligent dogs and very easily trainable don't teeth on that buddy. um but I, yeah, I haven't, I don't feel like I've been around enough uh, poodles themselves, like purebred poodles to tell. Okay. That's a good, honest answer. Yeah. I don't want to deter anybody from. Yeah. I mean, we've had some great, like we have a friend that has a poodle and it is so sweet. So, um, Shane. That's a standard. That is a standard. Oh, that's true. For Minis so many. could be different. Yeah, that's true. That's a good fair point. And so could toys and so could teacups and yeah. I don't know enough about. That's good. That's a good question. That's a good thought, I should say. Um, so June says, how old is Honey and how much does she weigh? She's nine months and she weighs 50 pounds. Awesome. And then Emily Shroud's on. Emily, thanks so much for being on here. Can you show us Miss Teal? Yes, we just had her earlier. Give me one second. I'm picking yeah. up a potty. Okay. Um, and then William says, what brand is your whelping boxes? So these are actually... <laughs> um, Costco above ground gardening boxes. Yep. Above ground gardening boxes. Uh, we have really enjoyed them. 
And so they are a seasonal item at Costco, but they are a great nope, value. Not you. Nope, not you. She's small and curly and dark. So Lori says, hello from the mountains of East Tennessee. That's awesome. Wow. We are getting a golden doodle on Saturday. Really enjoyed watching your videos in preparation for picking up and bringing home my sweet pup. So exciting. That's so great, Lori. Do you have a name picked out for your doodle? I'm curious oh, uh, what you guys name your doodle. But thanks so much for being on here. Man, maybe she's under here. So Erin's on the hunt for you. Miss Teal. I found her. Say hey, Mom. <laughs> Look at all. Her hair's all like tough in the back. <laughs> That's so cute. So cute. Is their collar extended? I can get my fingers under it, but. Emily, have you picked out a name for Miss Teal yet? Comment down below if you can. Um, so someone just put, what are the signs and symptoms you all notice when a puppy has an ear infection? I would say shaking like the ear shake. Yeah. 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 They wobble just like their head. Ear. Yep. A little head wobble. Yeah. And they uh, scratch and they can rub their ear on the floor. Yes. They kind of want to like bury their yeah. head like into like the carpet, like just to be able to kind of. It feels like it's got fluid in it, I bet. Yep. That makes sense. Anybody else want a personalized? Yeah, Hello? comment down below if you guys uh, want to say hi to your puppy. We got a few more minutes. Um, let's see, just going through the questions. William, that's so kind of you to say. <laughs> William said you both are so awesome. Oh, thanks. Um, Ric Flair, what cleaner spray does Aaron use? I thought it would, was a purple fluid. Um, it's a method product. They were um, out of purple, uses... so I used grapefruit this time. Yep, so. This is probably a little bit of both. <laughs> So we buy the I get the refill, yeah. yeah. Um, but it's a method product from Target. Uh, let's see. Thank you. Haven't decided on name yet, but I am between two names, Opal and Maisie. Oh, both Aww. are super cute. But I've never had a dog named Opal yeah. come from us. That would be precious. Yeah. Let's see. Caitlin says, thank you. That was so helpful. When the time comes to add a puppy to our family, I want a playful... I want a playful all the way. Oh, that's so great. The fact that you're doing research and doing due diligence now is, is gonna mean that much so much more when you guys do pick out your puppy. <laughs> all right, well, we're gonna wrap up here and get everybody tucked into bed, but I Look, hope you they guys all have all like have... their second wind. Yeah, they do have a second wind. Come here, buddy. There we go. But I hope you guys all have a great night. And thank you so much for joining us. And we'll try and do these uh, live streams more often. Uh, but look for a regular video coming out on uh, Monday next, next Monday. week. Yep. Y'all have a great night. Bye.